Sega. Hello and welcome again to another Laying Down the Law. I'm Joey Dalton and I'm joined once more by Peter Stewart. Hello. In this episode, we're going to focus on the Wood Elves! The Wood Elves, Peter! Yes, Joey, I know that they're your favourite race in the tabletop. You're damn right they are, and I've been waiting four years to see these guys in action, and they do not disappoint. So first off, let's talk about Athol Loren, which is a very interesting place in itself. Indeed. Technically, it's part of the Bretonian Kingdom, but it's definitely a place that no Bretonian would dare to tread. It's the oldest forest in the Old World, and most mysteriously is aware of not only itself, but of the creatures that live within it. Yeah. Peter, anyway. The Wood Elves are permitted to live within Athol Loren due to their respect of the forest and the other creatures that dwell there. That's right, Joey. It's certainly a tricksy place to live that defies the laws of nature and time itself. The poor souls that wander there may find themselves lost in the forest for decades, but emerge later to find that only a few minutes have passed in the real world. Creepy. It's split into 12 realms, each ruled by a lord or lady. In game, this will be represented with the Wood Elves Council, similar to how the office works within the Empire, but this only applies if you're playing as Orion. Speaking of Orion, let's take a look at our legendary lords. Over to you, Peter. Indeed. Thanks, Joey. First, we have Orion, ruler of the forest and the living incarnation of the elven god Kurnos. He is a being of majesty and terror. His power is at its peak when he goes on the wild hunt, where he basically obliterates anything in his path. That is true. And last but not least, sorry, least, we have Durthu. Durthu? Durthu! Sorry. Uh, <clears throat> yes, um. Durthu was once a loving tree that cared for all creatures within Athol Loren. However, after a run-in with some dwarfs and he was nearly killed, he is petrified of dwarfs and their axes. It definitely turned Durthu into a much more hateful being who no longer cares for elves, but he protects his beloved glade by slaying all trespassers, no matter who they may be. That's correct, Joey. The Wood Elves themselves have a really interesting mix of units. I mean, generally speaking, the Elves aren't very well armoured, nope. but they are agile, and they are the best archers in the Old World, able to move and shoot freely without hindrance. As well as that, when they fight in a forest, they get stat bonuses in-game. There are various cool mount options for the Elves as well, such as Great Eagles, Oof. Unicorns, yes. Elven Steeds, and not forgetting the forest dragons. It looks so cool. It does. Not forgetting about the forest spirit side of the Wood Elves, which consists of Dryads, Treekin and Treemen. While they are much tougher, they are also slower units. The Wood Elves have access to two new laws of magic as well, which is the Law of Shadow and the Law of Life. Mm -hmm. But there really is a lot of interesting new gameplay features that come with the realm of the Wood Elves campaign pack. Which Legendary Lord are you going to play first? Oh, Joey, what kind of a question is that? It's the King in the Wood. Orion is the one for me, obviously. You're so wrong about this every time, Peter. It's all about Durthu! Anyway, please let us know which you pick in the comments down below. And remember to like and share this video. That's all we have for this time. Thanks for watching. I could go off you. No, you wouldn't. Dathu! <laughs> <laughs>